life. But it's exciting. Acting is exciting. You're an actor. Let's 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 go back in time because I, I, I met you before and we hit it off. Yes. You're very nice and extremely down to earth, Thank which you very to much. me is very essential if you are good. Right? Yes. For because me sometimes as well. ego is a little too big, it's too important. And I don't I don't like to see that. I like to see somebody with talent. Yes, and, I right? think ego is destructive. It is point, destructive, right? For most of the people. And you don't need it, really, do you? I mean, I mean, I don't honestly. I think it's necessary, but you know, we cannot judge people, so everyone is right. unique. Yes, <laughs> in their own way. From my point of view here, people are more conservative. You think so? We're not more open and more crazy? Yes, you are, but you're like. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, right? You have more things to choose. I People are open, but at the same time, again, they're conservative, and right. it's very important. And it's very important the way you start. And, um, well, for me, I, it was hard in the beginning. But it's hard for each one of us. But you know why? It's hard for each one of us. Because when you come from Europe, people have a tendency, like, I asked my manager, you know, my first audition I had, uh -huh. and, you know, why do I go to these auditions, and why do I get those roles? Mm -hmm. Where sometimes they require partially nudity, sometimes this and that, and I said, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, I'm glad I had the power to say no. And many people, they were like, there's no way for you to get there, there's no way for you to make it, because you have to do that, it's part of the job. And I'm like, really? I don't think acting has to do with taking off clothes or right. things like this. So I decided to wait, and I was like, I'd rather have a regular job. Right. So, <laughs> okay, back home I have to say, that I took lots of classes, dancing, martial uh -huh. arts, Japanese language. Oh, that's pretty so, impressive. Japanese. Yeah, I love it. Last month, actually, I decided to open a modeling school for kids. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I didn't know about I'm that. Like, you oh, know, wow. I, actually, when I went in 2010, I went to the fashion show. Uh -huh. And because I'm just 5.8.5, I have to say, I'm not 5.9. And you know, 5.9 is the minimum, so right now But what is that crazy thing about models, that you have to be this tall, you have to be this... I mean, it doesn't... I honestly, really, what is it? It's part of the game, but it's like... Oh my God, I really don't get it. I mean... Right? I mean, what's the point? I think you have to show the clothes, not yourself. Right. And if the, it's better for the audience to see, like... A taller person. Here in the United States, actually, more than in Europe, I saw like, different models, like different types, different body types. And uh -huh. I've seen like fashion shows for, you know, petite, small, and extra, extra small, uh -huh. and uh -huh. to extra large, you know. And that's what life is about. Exactly. Diversity. What I'm saying right? diversity, and um, I think there's a place for everyone everywhere in the world. Right. For everything. That's well said. <laughs> so. That's so well said. Because everybody, like, I, I think we, each one of us, we have so much pressure to how we have to look like, and how we have to be, and how we have to behave, and we have to follow what's on TV, and you want to follow certain trends, and we get lost in translation, right? Right, that's why I don't watch TV, I haven't... Oh, you're so lucky, <laughs> you're so lucky. Last year. You are so lucky because I'm so addicted to it, that's why I'm so sick that I had to keep... Well, we have to, you you, Right, it's but like it, your host, so. It's like, yeah, I better do my job, but it's very interesting how models and, you know, how, what people say about them and how they look like, and you don't have to be 5'10", or you don't have to be, I don't know, uh, 98 to, or 48 pounds. I mean, it's like... To feel what, comfortable with yourself. To feel and, happy about yourself. Yes. I think it's so much pressure from the media, as it is, right? Correct. That we have to look a certain way, we have to sound a certain way. I think that... Yeah, it's true. It's, uh, and to I'm me, with I, I, I like freedom. To me, if I don't have any freedom, I'm dead. I like freedom and I like classy style. Right, you know, it's right. It's like not every day I have to update things. I don't believe in that. But you had that classical. The first time, time, I, time I met you, you said, oh, she got that classical beauty. Like, uh, what's the name of this girl? Kira Knightley? Oh, thank you. Yes, right? I get it. You have I, that, you get that a yes, lot. Yes, very often. That kind of look, that it's, you have this face that you can portray it. I, I don't know, Anna Karenina from Tolstoy. You can play all his... Yeah, I do. I mean, actually, I have a problem. We even. I, don't have a headshot to look exactly like me after three years. Yeah, so but that if happens. there is any photographer that would be interested in taking one, no, it's because I have a chameleon face. Uh huh. And it's like if That's you take so a awesome. Picture, Give me five, baby. That's so yeah, good. it's great for acting. Well, it's, it's good for acting. But yeah, when I go get to that level, I know it's going to be awesome. Now, why? I mean, why do you think is the obsession to be an actor? Why do you think we actors want to be actors? Do you think it's something wrong with us? We're a little sick in the head. But I think it's awesome. It's just a passion. It's passion. Is it like, well, 
creativity, I love creativity. And uh -huh. it's like when you try to play a character, you actually have to create the character. Mm -hmm. And then it's a part of yourself as well. That's why I'm saying at this point and right now, I would not be able to pick a sexy character too right. much. Like, so you know, people, when they go, you go for casting auditions, Well, in the beginning, it was People terrible. will tell you, really? Wow. Not because the role do you was ever got it, Do you ever get upset, like, say, what are you talking about? What do you mean taking my clothes off? I mean, do I you? Mean, well, it was, let's say I was going to a casting, and sometimes when you get the sides online, like on breakdowns, uh -huh. you know, you don't get the whole thing. Uh -huh. So it's like, uh, I didn't know what it's all about. And right. when you get there, they're actually telling you, you know, it's partially nudity, or we require this, if right. comfortable wearing bikini and so on. So I'm like, no, and I definitely don't want to start like that because uh -huh. I care too much, and I really love it, and I don't blame people that do that. You know, uh -huh. I just somehow it's a choice. It's a right. choice, it's exactly. A choice it's a matter of make. choice, and you have the right to choose. It has to be a way. Uh -huh. You know, not to do that. Right, just step right. Step by step. And you so. gotta follow your instincts. You gotta follow your inner voice. Right. Right. I mean, I think that the most important thing, in my opinion, for any actor anywhere, is that you have to follow your heart. You gotta follow your inner strength, and you only know what's right for you. And Correct. When you go to a casting call, when directors or stage directors, or when you go to the studio, when you go any place, because bottom line, great actors are everywhere. Like you got it right. You got it right. Thank you, and I'm really happy about it. But what about your parents? Back to where you come from, do they miss you? What do they say? That, you oh, know, the oh, little oh, bar is just gone in New York. This is a tough city. This is a tough place to be. Yes, it's like, uh, it's hard for them, I guess, you know. Right. I, they're missing me, I miss them. Of course. But you know, here, things are moving so fast, I have to say. I don't have too much time to think about the fact that I'm, you know, I miss them. Right. Only on weekends, on Sundays. when. Do you Skype them? Can you talk to them on Skype? Yeah, Skype. Uh -huh. We have a messenger. Uh-huh. On the phone, too. The Magic Jack works pretty damn good to me. If you ask me, I paid only like 100 bucks for it. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's so good because I talk to my dad. Like, I'm very close to my father, very close to my mommy. Me, too. I'm, 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 a, I'm a girl. I'm still a little girl. You me, know? too. I'm and still playing with the teddy bears. I'm still do. Shut I up. I love I, it. I'm a still, and I will not change. I have my bed. Yeah, me, my too. It's like the eight piggies. Like, they're, so my, they're my kids. I have a this, bear and bunny. You have a bear and a bunny. Oh, I'm so into That's those so things. I, <laughs> I have my piggies. I tell you, they're my, like my kids. I talk to them. They sleep with me and my husband. Yeah, same here. I mean, what the hell? I'm not so crazy. Crazy. I mean, I, I, I think we're normal, right? I think we have to be normal, but I just, I don't know. They're so real to me. It's kind of scary when I'm talking to those pigs in the middle of the night. I'm like, uh, I got home and I just go to my pigs. Yeah, but you see, we're going to my teddy bear and I give him a kiss bear. and it's like, hi. No, yeah, what kind of great. films? What kind of, when we talk about films, what kind of stuff would you like mm. to do? What kind of, okay, what so work inspires you? What kind of so films? I like the classy style, but I just started this year with an environmental campaign. That's correct. We were talking about that right before we started. Yes, exactly. Okay. It was gorgeous. I mean, the images came out wonderful. I'm really, really excited about it, and it will be released at the end of this year. Okay, that's pretty I mean, pretty it should good. be somehow November, the end of November. Okay, okay. And then another project that I got involved in, it's a black and white movie. So cool. Which again, you know, my classy uh -huh. <laughs> type I love and black style, and, white and I love it too. I tell you, this is, like I said, this is a place that, that this is a place to learn, you know, yeah, as an actor, true. you, there's so many places that you can go. You can go to, I don't know, to Strasbourg, or to the actor studio, to the Meisner TV, everywhere. or Stella Adler. There's so many great acting coaches everywhere. And I love workshops. And you know, your workshops, yeah. yes. I love them, you know, going in different places and yes. learning and getting learning your feet new. wet on the water. That's I'm thinking good. about, I, you know, we can learn every day from our life. I mean, every day is yes. a new lesson. So yes. when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, okay, <laughs> what is going to be today? <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful, so, beautiful. So you get busy. You know, you, you, you have your mind in the right place. You never get down. I get a little lonely sometimes. I just like, oh, I have to fight it because I keep myself busy enough. But you're you know, not the only one, you know, because it's not like busy all the time. I mean, right? But what about at night? A nice one. Sunday nights are tough. For yeah, me. I have my teddy bear, you know, and you have your own. <laughs> I got my own eight piggies, and I want to thank my sponsors. I'm wearing Caterina Lancovas. You guys can see half and half. Ouch in my belt, yeah. This is Caterina Lancova. I think she's so creative and she's so beautiful. I'm sending my love to you. There you go. Uh, next week, we have a very special guest, Franconeri Velotti, the creators 
of the special jewelry. They're going to be in the house. Adriana, Alex de Romero, and we're going to have some Ballet Folklorico de Colombia. I already said it right. So that's going to be pretty exciting, pretty energetic. And the week after that, we're going to have Gay Facio, terrific actor, director, member of the actor studio. He's going to be here in two weeks, so I can't wait. So basically, yeah, I, I, what else I'm forgetting? No, that's pretty much it. You see, we're almost done. We got yes, two minutes. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. I mean, this was like a minute for me. And right? Do you feel it? No, I don't. We got two minutes. Okay, so what perfect. Minutes? Thank you, Frank. So, yeah, in two minutes, what can I say? I'm very happy because I had the chance to play an angel. Oh, that's so cool. In a Ken Kashner production, and, but it was great. I mean, I'm really excited about it. And I love to play an angel. I mean... Yes. So, it's you pure. Have, it's so, it's so, when I see your face, when the first time I met you, you gave me that. You're so, it's something so pure about you that is, it's very touching, honestly. Yes. And I, I'm telling you, I'm coming from I, the heart. You, you know me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it's something know. about you that is very, very special, very pure, you know, and I'm wishing you the best luck. Thank and just you. keep doing what and you're doing. Keep yourself as positive as you can. And keep the purity. And keep that. Don't lose that because people change. And I know. People get bitter and people get upset and people get frustrated and get, they get jealous. No, just keep the positive energy. Keep doing what you're doing and just be selective, be careful, be aware, and be grateful with the Lord above. We're just passing by. So, something to remember. Thank you so much. I mean, it was a pleasure to come here. You had a good time? Evening, as a guest in this place, you know, when we met two years ago. Uh huh. That Actually, was three. three years ago. Oh my God, yeah, three wow, years time ago. Time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. Exactly. Right? But I'm so glad we connected. I'm so glad that I brought you here. Same we talked. Here. You didn't drink your tea? So no, just, I. Mmm. 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 Jeremy, mm. I love you. You make the perfect tea. You thank had, you so much. You had the greatest hands. It's I really get, tasty. <laughs> it's really tasty. A little, a little too much sugar, but hey, what the hell? I gotta lose some weight. I gotta go back to. Do you? Why do you need to? Lose? I have to because I starved for the last three months. I've been running and I'm dying to get back. In you're shape. so skinny. Oh, oh my god. No, no, no. Second, I'm putting some. We don't on look so like. I mean, I don't know. Maybe because of the outfit. But I don't I just know. Don't no, see I, ha I have some. I have. I have some. Some weight on. But.